Why are global final boss scores always so pepega? Oh, oh, the recording started already. It's time, it's time again. Hey yo, chicks are here. Today we are going to show you guys how to get number one in this final boss. So I think most of you guys probably know who follow this channel. We always try to bring um, in every final boss a farming video, a how to get number one video, and also how to get. For now, it's now they decrease it to top 10%, but I will probably call it top 1%. I will try to get a free to play team um, to reach top 1%. So um, make sure to check it out. We are going to have it probably tomorrow. So I still do need my time to record the videos, edit the videos. Yesterday, it was already a very big hustle. Um, artifacts were coming. I had to make those videos. So check that video out. To have a breakdown about artifacts and yeah so we just hit number one in this final boss and we got a beautiful score so of course we are going to show you guys the gear and also the actual run so first of all no we did not had the 350k um damage mark so i think most of you guys who did a good score already you guys might be thinking hey this is maybe the missing part but no, definitely not, so stay tuned. And yeah, I think most of you guys know the team already. We are just going to show you guys the team really quick. We are also going to flex a bit with the current uh, score and compared to other people. So I've seen, um, I actually got a DM today um, from a friend. He said, yo, beat the score. And I was like, okay, say no more. So yeah, we beat it, the um, person who got over 7k. So. 7k or close to 7k it is already really a great um score good job on that but yeah when at the end of the video i highly doubt that will stay in top three because yeah everyone will know what to do and let's just go around with the gear first trick okay first trick is remove gotha's gear Remove Gotha's gear so that you don't deal any damage with his pumpkin bombs. So his pumpkin bombs, they don't deal the 60k damage mark anyways, which means it is completely useless to have Gotha with normal top pieces. The only way or only thing you do is dealing more damage, which means you might be able to or not be able to use more cards to deal more damage marks. Um, Roxy is on an attack crit damage build. So the better your Roxy is, the better it is. You can also compensate your Roxy with um, with artifacts. So in my opinion, like a 1900 Roxy should be okay. But yeah, so the more you have, the safer it is because a one star has the chance to actually hit the 150k mark. Um, Coming to the list, this is something a lot of people probably don't know as well. Attack, <laughs> attack here. <laughs> <laughs> fucking madman levi he actually made this attack gear um just for this because he knew um okay attack gear is necessary we or actually okay i told him attack gear is necessary so he created you are bottom for her and luckily he had defense top pieces and yeah stacked out death pierce obviously more hp gonna give us more score as well and we're going to use attack food and now we are going to show you guys the is that would that be the perfect run actually no um if you have a perfect run you can even get more score we are coming to that when we are going to show you guys the run also we are not going to edit the run at all so the video or the run will be not cut at all i will have the whole run i recorded without any cuts i would just have an um what it's called i will have an voice over so sometimes i may be struggling a bit because yeah i'm still a bit new to voiceovers but yeah let's let's go to the I don't know i think you guys know what i mean um let's jump into it i think most of you guys are really interested to see how to get number one in the first turn what we're going to do is we're going to rank up our list we're going to use the explode cards and we are also going to burn the pumpkin bomb also something else to add is um you probably have noticed sometimes draw does have a debuff at the first turn sometimes he doesn't if he doesn't have the um debuff your run is already over you have to quit out so Doing this final boss is pretty much, or it is a lot of RNG and it's completely random. You can't control everything. But here, as you can see, we are getting a lot of debuffs on us. So we have seven different debuffs. Every debuff we are going to cleanse, we are getting 45 points, which means we are getting over 300 points alone for this round or alone for this cleanse. 
So obviously, that's the reason why we rank up in the first turn, because he will seal us, which means we can't rank up or we would have to gamble for a merger into the heal. Here we didn't hit the 60k unfortunately, but yeah, it is what it is. So here's some random stuff which can happen as well as for example, if Glox has an AoE which is 2 star and he's gonna seal our 2 star cards, it's sometimes super annoying because we can't use them or sometimes we can't use them when we actually need them. So here I um, wanted to use the pumpkin bomb, but then I was seeing, oh, um, he still has the maximum amount of stacks, basically 3 resistance stacks. So we have to strip first and then use the pumpkin bomb to basically maximize if possible um, the resistance stacks we are going to strip because that gives us points as well. And then we are going to rank up Roxy because yeah, Roxy um, high cards or... 2 star cards, 3 star cards are pretty important for the run as well. So now as you can see we are in turn 4. So basically when the Glox is going to heal he gives everyone immunity which maximizes the um, buffs as well. And this is also the turn when we want to kill the Glox. So um, here unfortunately very very unfortunate. We did get the seal but we don't have a 2 star list card. Because with a cleanse we would have gotten another 270 points which is just insane. And there's no other card we can burn at the moment anyways. So um, I decided to just move it to the left side to keep it for later eventually. And now what we need is we want to deal over 150k. And luckily we did that for the damage caps. And yeah the cards are pretty decent. And this is actually a very, very um, promising start to move to transition. The only better card it would have been, instead of the cleanse, maybe if I would have, for example, burned the cleanse, that I would have had another single target to deal 150k and then another 150k again. So um, this is very unfortunate. There's nothing we can do. So I decided to, okay, let me check again. We are in turn 5. So in turn 5 is the turn when you want to move to transition. It's the last turn. And also... We are going to burn that card just to maximize our card draw. I was definitely also low-key afraid, can we even kill? But luckily, we got a pretty decent damage roll. So most of the times, I deal like a bit under 300k. But yeah, with this kill, we are able to move to transition in the turn we need. And um, in the second phase, basically, what we want is we want to use the Roxy bombs. Basically, two golden would be probably the optimal thing. But two golden also, there is a risk that your Roxy is actually going to kill your draw with a um, with a bomb damage, with the explode damage. So it really depends on your luck, basically, if you um, do get lucky or not. Because if you crit the draw, you deal probably too much damage. As you can see, he took a bit over or almost 50%. And now this is super lucky as well. The Glocks actually survived with like 1 HP. And oh my god, you guys don't know how happy I actually was. So here, first of all, we have all those ult cards um, and draw luckily has the passive of dissolving. And I was hoping so much to actually get a cleanse because, yeah, we unfortunately can't rank up. And the only card we would need here is a freaking cleanse card. And the very last card is actually the list card. So we were able to cleanse it to heal it off. As you can see, draw also survived with like a very, very low amount of HP. So we are going to check. 25,000 HP that's like oh my god that was so close guys if um, Roxy would have like for example critted with a golden card um, with a golden bomb card that would have been a dead run but here as you see GG's we even did the 150k as last and we ended up with this insane 7600 score that's it guys that's it for the video I really hope it was helpful or you enjoyed watching this video and if you are new on this channel or in general if you are not subscribed yet would be awesome if you're going to subscribe especially we are trying to bring out a lot of helpful content and yeah if you don't want to miss anything turn on the notification bell or also eventually join our discord the links are in the description below and yeah you can always stay up to date that way because yeah a lot of people are helpful also you get pings when we are streaming for example yeah would be awesome to see you in the next stream eventually thank you so much for tuning in and peace out for now